We don't want to turn our backs on the ridership, and we are proud today that City Hall did not turn their backs on us. And as a result, we are here to support the mayor's proposal um, on the Outer Borough Street Hill service. In terms of the, um, of the agreement that we were able to develop, it includes very strict enforcement of uh, no less than 60 officers that would be part of a newly first time ever created anti-illegal street hail unit that would make sure that there would, you know, there would be enforcement against illegal activities not only by the, the newly licensed vehicles through this legislation, but also by unlicensed plates. Our biggest concern was that we would lose Manhattan and the airport, which is our daily survival. But the agreement that we were able to reach gives us security in Manhattan and the airports in a way that we've never had it before. And the TLC recognizes that through this transition, taxi drivers should not be harmed. We need to be kept whole as the economic ties are changed in our industry. And so we have agreed to a six-point program which includes enforcement and various economic measures like enforcement of the lease caps and a reduction of the credit card transaction fees from 5%. And they've also agreed to phase in the new medallions and the outer borough service in a rational and gradual fashion. So the medallions would be phased in 500 per year over a three year period and not 1,500 all at once. And after the first year, the city has agreed to conduct a needs assessment on the impact of the new medallions and the new service on the livelihoods of taxi drivers. The TLC, the DOT, and the Taxi Workers Alliance have agreed to, to look into intersections where we could have the same turn rights as buses, which has been a major economic issue for us because we survive by moving through the city quickly to pick up fare after fare. The TLC will also announce a task force with us on the creation of a health and wellness fund for taxi drivers. You know, for our owner-operators, it is really, really simple. If you don't make ends meet as a driver, you can't pay your medallion bills and stick it out as an owner. These provisions will keep owner-operators whole as drivers so that they can continue to be owners in this industry. That is significant for us. With these different measures that the city has agreed to, we feel more secure in the changes that are about to come. And you know, we recognize workers see, you know, drivers aren't on the streets every single day. We know the areas that need to be served and we know the areas that remain underserved. And this has been a problem that has plagued our city for a very long time. And really the choice before us was either to stand on the side of history or let history pass us by. We don't want to be a workforce that's going to stand against the interests of another workforce. At the same time, because we have been given a security that our economic interests will not be harmed, we feel confident and comfortable to support the mayor's proposal. And we urge Albany to not only pass this proposal, but also to pass the Taxi Driver Protection Act, which would require a warning sticker in every single taxi, um, warning against crimes against drivers. Taxi power! Taxi power! Taxi power! Driver power! It just came out spontaneously. <laughs>